This is a competition then that you think is open to them this season, that is winnable for a Manchester United, even with the problems that they've got? Well, it's winnable, but something's going to, happen to have to happen to Liverpool, to Man City and, and to others, because at this moment in time, they've not been able to compete with those teams. So either those sides are going to have to have a downturn in form or be knocked out, or United are going to have to have an uptick in form. So it's either or. What you can say is that they're in the next round and that, that's all they can do. They had to make sure, Eric Ten Hag had to make sure that his players were in the frame of mind today that were not going to make his position questionable even more come tomorrow morning. The headlines, the press conferences after this game, talking about, you know, are you going to resign? Will you be sacked? And that's how bad it would have been because that's the gap between these sides. Now, that's not the case anymore. It'll, it'll, that one's been put to bed. It wasn't an easy place to go, no matter what league you're in. They made it difficult for long periods. And I think he can be pleased with how his players performed in the main. Uh, there are bigger fish for Eric Ten Hag to fry. There are bigger problems ahead. Here we have a guy. Let, let's, let's, let's peel this back. Here we have one of the most talented players in English football. And he is. Coming off his, his best season last year, where he was brilliant. Scoring goals for fun. Working hard. Why would he not want to take that forward? All the great Man United players, and I've played against a lot of them, when they have a great season, they want the next one to be better. It can't always be the case, but they strive for it. They strive to be better next year than they were the previous year. He's got his new contract, and this is not just on this. This has been all year. It's not just because a, a, an alleged... Uh, misdemeanor last week. It's not about that. It's about the big picture. And he's got his new deal and he's basically chucked it. He switched off. You only have to watch his performances as a general rule of thumb. Lack of work rate, lack of end product, lack of interest. And if this is the case, that he's hot-footing again to nightclubs and doing whatever he shouldn't be doing and then phoning in ill, you can't play him. Eric Ten Hag can't play him, he can't trust him. But Marcus Rashford, man, have a look at yourself in the mirror. You've got a career ahead of you still. Don't throw it all away. But it seems to me this is about mindset. He thinks he's the big cheese, thinks he can do what he wants, it appears. And Eric Ten Hag's going to have to deal with the fallout. It's, it's made it to the media, it's out there in the open, he's been spotted, his performances okay, are there for all to see, not been good enough. And that's not down to talent. That's not down to injury. That's down to application. And I don't like that. And as I said, the Roy Keynes, the Ryan Giggs, the Gary Nevilles, the Peter Smichels, the Steve Bruce, Brian Robsons, you can go through it. You can go through 100 players. If they had 25 goals in a, in a season, next year they wanted 30. If they got 30, they wanted 35. That's not Marcus Rashford. And unfortunately, that's not a lot of players at Manchester United. And that's a big part of the problem for Eric Ten Hag. He is also part of the problem, but so is this. This attitude from bad apples until they get them out of this football club is not going to change.